Welcome back everybody to part 3 of accessing closed source models inside of Comfy UI. So we've done two videos on this before for Nano Banana 1 and for C Dream and for Nano Banana Pro inside of Comfy UI, the process is absolutely no different. So if you're here, you likely already know what Nano Banana is. You likely already have a use case for it, especially if you're looking to use it inside of Comfy UI. So I'm not going to talk about everything that you can do with Nano Banana. I've actually linked AI Search's video in the description as he does a pretty good job walking through it. Today we're going to be just talking about what you need to get started with Nano Banana and side of Comfy UI. So the very first thing you're going to need, obviously, is Comfy UI. I'm going to assume that you already have Comfy UI installed. If you don't, there are plenty of tutorials out there on it. You'll want to make sure that you are updated to the latest version. So you'll go ahead, click on manager, then you'll click update all. You'll let the update go through. Then once it's completed, click restart and then refresh your browser. So if you're updated to the latest version and you double click on the canvas and type nano banana, you should see this second option here, nano banana pro. And so this is the node that we looked at in the last video for the original nano banana model. So now we're just going to upgrade to pro. So if you click on that, you'll get something like this. And the first thing that you're going to notice is that that, no, this is not free. It costs about 13 cents per image generated with this node. And no, you're not paying me. You're going to be paying Comfy UI. And so to do that, you need to make sure that you are logged into your Comfy UI and have a balance loaded. So to do that, you should see like a login button here on the top right. But if you don't, you should be able to go to your settings and then you'll see user. And then you'll also see a credit section. And this is where you can add a balance to your account. I mean, it doesn't have to be much. $5 is going to get you a pretty long way. It's about 38 images for $5. But note that you'll be charged every time this runs and obviously, you know, you won't know what the output is Now the reason that we like accessing this in Comfy UI is for one It obviously lets us plug this into our existing workflows and for two You're getting kind of the wholesale price for the most part I believe Nano Banana Pro is 15 cents if I'm not mistaken on fall AI And so again, I mean we're talking about two cents But if you're generating at scale and you're generating a lot of images That's obviously going to matter as it can get pretty pricey and here you can see the price between between Pro and Nano Banana 1. I mean, it's like a 230% increase, but don't worry, I'm sure I'll be seeing you guys in a couple of weeks for Sea Dream 5, which I'm assuming will be cheaper. So now that you have that, you are completely ready to go. Now we're gonna build this workflow out, but you also will be able to find the final workflow on the free Patreon guide in the description. So the first thing we're gonna do is set up a load image node. You can see we got the character from our last video on Laura training, and we're actually going to create a few of these here. And so for those of you that saw the original Nano Banana and Sea Dream videos, in previous workflows, especially for face swapping and such, the community has typically used an image stitch node and we would set it up something like this so that you're combining the images together when you're sending it to the API that you're using. And so while this looks correct, your outputs are going to be really messed up if you use the image stitch node. So what I would suggest and what is officially recommended is to use the batch images node. And so this is how we can send multiple images to Nano Banana. Now I'm going to be completely honest, I don't actually know how many images you can stitch into here, but in theory, if you wanted to include more than two, you could spread this out away from the API node, copy these two here, move this third load image to the bottom, and then attach the batch images to the new batch image. And then finally, we'll connect this to the Nano Banana Pro node. So now if we take a look at this, we'll see we get the same type of result and now all of our images are included. One thing to keep in mind though is that all of your input images will be resized to the same ratio as your first input image. So that's why they're all coming out in this kind of rectangular format even though this here is a square. And so you can see part of the image is getting cut off. So just keep that in mind. So I'm actually going to remove that third image because I don't think I'll actually need it. Now you could type your prompt directly into the node itself, but I like to just use a string so I can put it with the rest of my parameters. And by the way, really quick, coming back to pricing, since we're talking about the parameters, this 13 cents an image is actually for 1K and 2K. But if you go up to 4K, it jumps all the way up to 24 cents, which is just absolutely ridiculous. But hey, do what you got to do, I guess. Personally, if it were me, I'd probably stick to 2K and then maybe use an upscaler of some kind to get it to that 4K size. I mean, the model's pretty new. I haven't heard any major differences between 2K and 4K in terms 
terms of final output quality, but if we get some info where people definitively think that 4K is the way to go, which obviously would make sense because they want you to spend more money, then go with 4K. But if 2K is pretty comparable, I would stick to 2K and then just upscale. So last but not least, we're just going to add a save image node here, and then we'll just change the name of it to Nano Banana Pro. So then we can also add a show any node and just attach this string here, just so we can see any additional context that the model has, which I think is a pretty unique feature. That's it. That's all you need to actually set up the workflow. Again, like I mentioned, if you want to have more images, all you need to do is just extend the batch images and connect the new one to the API node. Now the first test I want to run addresses a couple of big questions with this model. The first being one we've already asked, how many images can you actually put in as a reference? And the second being, how good is it really at character consistency? Now this is obviously a ridiculous test. I don't think we've ever seen a model that can handle this amount of input images correctly and get character consistency 100% of the time, but we have seen some really crazy results with Nano Banana 2, so curious to see how this turns out. And you guys can kind of see how everything's wired here, right? So these first two images go to this batch image, so on and so forth, and then they're all just stitched together. For our prompt, we have a candid iPhone group photo of all these characters standing together with arms wrapped around each other's shoulders, vacation photograph in front of the ocean shore during a golden orange sunset vacation resort environment. And so now before we run this, since this is rather expensive, I'm just going to run the workflow really quick to make sure our batch images are sending correctly. Yep, so it looks like they are all packed packaged correctly. Another thing to keep in mind is I'm giving some absolutely ridiculous resolution images. So really curious to see how this turns out. We're set to 2K. We'll go ahead and run it. Ooh, looks like we were thrown an error. And so I guess really quick while we're here, just a quick tip, because I know a lot of people don't like all the errors that you have to deal with with Comfy UI. Typically what I do to resolve something like this is click show report and find issues just to see if anybody else is talking about it. And if not, you can literally just copy this and put it into Google along with Nano Banana a pro comfy UI, for example. And typically you'll find something, but in this particular case, I'm willing to bet it's one of two things. Either this is too many images or these images are way too big. All right, so I loaded up some lower resolution images. Let's try that again. Now keep in mind that wait times are probably going to be decently long just because this is a pretty high demand model right now and really unlike anything we've ever seen before. So let's take a look at this. Holy smokes, it actually did it. That is actually freaking insane. Now I can't say that's exactly what I was looking for, but it's kind of my fault because I didn't set the aspect ratio, which you probably should do if you're looking for a specific aspect ratio. I was looking for 16 by 9, but you know, this kind of works. Now what I really like about this is that it was selective on the outfits that it kept which I think is incredibly interesting. So if we look at this guy, right? Sure enough, he is wearing a jacket and collared shirt. If we look at him, same thing, wearing that tan jacket. Take a look at this woman here on the left wearing a jersey, but it decided to change it, which I think is absolutely crazy, really. Now, another thing to keep in mind that I find interesting is that they seem to be lying on the price. So apparently this came out to almost 16 cents, which is three cents more expensive than what they're saying here. I mean, they do have a roughly symbol, so I guess that's fair, but I don't know. I guess maybe this is a bit misleading. So just keep that in mind. I'm not entirely sure what this is dependent on. It looks like maybe runtime as well which is kind of unfortunate because that's not entirely up to you, right? <laughs> like that's kind of up to Google and how fast they can process your image, but I digress. Anyways, really insane result here. So it turns out you can in fact upload eight images as long as they're not 12K in resolution. Now here's one more rather complicated prompt. So Nano Banana and Seadream were pretty good at following annotations on images, but I want to step it up a little bit and apply changes to the base image. And then on top of that, make changes even further. So if we look at our prompt, we'll say add a pumpkin and a small glass of lemonade in the green circle, add pumpkins in the yellow circles, remove the planter marked by the black X, turn the cushion chair slightly according to the red arrows, change the actual cushion fabric from tan to a yellow floral pattern and then have the woman sit in the chair and smile at the camera. So a bunch of different instructions there. One more time, we're just going to bypass the nano banana node just so we can see how our batch images are sending. Looks pretty good to me. Then I will unbypass those. Make sure we actually set our aspect ratio this time. We'll go one to one to match the original image and 2K again, and let's run it. Oh, that's actually so unbelievably close. Wow, I'm really impressed with this. So this is something I've tried with a lot of other models before, and it's 
quite difficult. Like this is generally a multi-step process, right? Where you, you know, add these elements first, then you would change the fabric of the cushion, then you would add the woman on top. But it's pretty crazy to see that it was able to do all this in one prompt, even though we kind of left the, the circles here. See, I wonder if we say, do not include annotations in final image. Wonder if that will give us a different result. Ah, uh, almost. It seems to have done a better job. Well, the good news is though, you could easily just mask these. I mean, for a professional doing this for like a real company, for example, that would take exactly two seconds. So overall, I, you know, I'm very impressed. So those were just a couple very small tests. Like I said, AI Search has a really great video where he dives into literally everything. You know, we're talking depth maps, heat maps, for example, a lot of use cases for architecture as well. For example, the official comfy UI doc for or Nano Banana Pro, which is also linked in the description, shows this really cool example where they stitched multiple Nano Banana Pro nodes together. So based off of a real image, which is extremely small, might I add, it created this entire architectural plan. And then from that was able to rebuild it onto a desk with the blueprints in the background of the image. So I think this really is one of those first models where the sky really is the limit. And again, though, talking about Laura training, character consistency, and the difference between using a model like this for character consistency and training Alora, you know, I haven't tested it enough, but if we compare these two, right, you know, I think that's definitely a very similar person, but I don't think this is the same person, right? I think that character consistency margin of error has gotten smaller for sure. I think Nano Banana Pro, at least from what I've seen, seems to do a better job than previous models, but is it better than training Alora? I don't know. I guess that all remains to be seen. So again, guys, the workflow is linked in the description along with all the resources. Happy generating, and I'll see you guys soon for Sea Dream 5.